Hi guys, this is Tanil from Paper Milkshake and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a craft with me today and I'm going to be making a memory decks for the memory decks weekly challenge that I've decided to join or I should say it's, I'm not really part of this challenge between AT Studio um, Damaris, her name is Damaris, and Caroline May. Um, they're actually challenging each other, but they've opened the invitation to anyone else who might want to join. So I've decided to join this year, 2020, and we're now in August. Um, actually, we're going into September, and this is week 33. The prompt is pastels only. You guys know how much I love pastels, so I jumped on it, and I am actually pretty up to date. I think I'm only two weeks behind now, so I've got 33 to go and then 34. And I thought for this pastels only, um, I would use um, a collection that I just purchased recently, and I only bought the papers and the cardstock stickers. It's called Minte um, Forever Young, and as you can see, it's a carnival themed. Um, collection and there's lots and lots of pastels in it so I thought it would be perfect for this little project and it comes with this beautiful um, page of chipboards as well not my usual cup of tea with the whole ombre thing pastel vintage look but I reckon I can still make something really fun out of it um, so let's start decorating. So all I did was grab a sheet of the Minte paper and the front of the paper looks like this and the back of the paper is like this fancy design. So I thought I would cut two out using the Heidi Swamp Memory Dex um, die and it comes in a set of two. One has a tab on one corner and the other one has a tab in the center. And I thought that I would cut two out and just layer it for no other reason other than to be a little bit fancy and add some more dimension to this project. So I've cut two out and I'm going to just stick them down together now. I'm going to put the yellow in the back and the pink on the front. Going to bring this a bit closer and take it off camera because I just want to make sure the alignment is where I want it to be. There we go. So there you go. We just have a little bit of a layered look, a double layered um, memory decks card base. And I had some leftover Dear Lizzie ephemera lying around. Um, I think it's a collection called New Day, but I could be wrong. Um, but I thought that collection was really, really pastel -y, so I grabbed some of my leftover ephemera from it, my favourite leftover <laughs> ephemera from it, and see if I can work it into this Memory Dex card today. So let's start with the layering. Just going to experiment and see where I want it thing. Just doing a little bit of placement. I also happen to have this beautiful um, heart, glitter heart thing that I die cut a while back. And um, I'm just thinking about whether I can work it into this project. I think I can. Let's just cut that up. Careful not to tear some of that, those pretty hearts that are on this design. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I will get my thinner foam tape. This one here. And 
And I want some of that edge to come over um, on the side here. I think that will add a bit of interest to this. So that's really, really cute. It's a little bit lopsided, so I might just straighten that up a bit. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay. This ice cream truck is super cute. There we go, maybe somewhere around the middle there. Making sure I don't cover my holes underneath. Or with the, not the holes, but the, um, with a little, what do you call those? <laughs> holes. Yeah, they're holes, right? <laughs> perforations, where the perforations are to add onto your Rolodex or your uh, memory, duck, memory Dex card holder. So I'm just going to position the wheels on either side of those holes. But then I want to see a little bit more of that hard sticker. So maybe I won't. There we go. That just probably creates enough room right there. Now the other thing I did, this is really, really, really random. The other thing I did was I purchased the, or I, I received some Hey Santa from uh, my design team kit with Sassy Scrapper. And I decided to order a stamp set because I really, really like this bow. It's so random, but I really, really like this bow design right here. So I wanted to fussy cut out, I stamped them onto this cardstock and I just wanted to fussy cut some bows and see if I can use it onto this project. I love the bow. I love adding black and white bows to my um, embellishments and memory decks cards. So that's what I'm going to do now. Fussy cut it out and see if I can add it on. It might not be the right colour, so we'll just have to see. I, I did make sure that I grabbed a slightly off-white cardstock to stamp this onto because I know a lot of pastel base collections don't have crisp white um, in the in the designs it's usually you'll find it's usually an off-white whenever there's a pastel collection so that's what I've done used a bit of off-white cardstock to stamp this bow onto you'll probably find crisp white is more common for say black and white collections um, or cooler color collections like co collections that have a more cooler rather than warm palette then you might see a more crisp white um, base rather than a uh, cream and although this is a Christmas collection I think that this bow is quite versatile you don't have to use this bow design with Christmas collections only so let's see if I can add that on later. In the meantime, I'm going to start layering up uh, onto the ice cream truck, but I wanted to see if I can choose a statement first. I think I like this one that says we're here for the party. <laughs> Let's select that one. Let's put that aside, get ready for layering. And we might just put our ephemera pieces on first. So I really like this flower. I think the flower is so pretty. I'll foam tape it up, but I won't tape the adhesive backs off yet until I'm fully decided with where I want everything to go. convinced I want to add the swan today it 
To be honest, I'm not really sure I want this statement. I don't think I want to add the Minte statements to this memory decks. I had a feeling that would happen because I don't love the font on that Minte collection. So I might instead use um, some All Heart stickers. So let's let's glue the floral down first. And yeah, I think we can have this one. Why not? There's our swan. See that pop of black and white just really adds to this cute little memory pastel memory decks card. And I'm thinking, what words do I want to use? I want to keep the letters simple. I don't want too many letters in this because otherwise it will overwhelm the project. Maybe we can say, um, Maybe even just love. I think we'll just have love. Something very simple and understated. Or cute. How about cute? Yeah, let's go with cute. Uh, turning out to be very, very pastel now that I've added the pink uh, foam stickers on it, the foam letters. And so lastly, it's just deciding where this little bow is going to go, and I think it's got a place right there. I'm going to have to just double the layer of foam to make sure that that pops out exactly where I want it to be. And if the double is not enough, I will triple layer it. Nope, turns out double layer will be fine. Whoops. There we go, that's cute. Just going to add a little bit more interest by peeling up some of these edges. It will add some a little bit more dimension to this project. Okay, that's coming together really well, and I have this little Nouveau drop. Um, it's translucent, but it dries a little bit pink, and it's called Pale Periwinkle. I might have a little sample. Yes, I do. So it dries up like this. It's really, really pretty, and it just gives it a little dewy, wet look, which I love. I'm going to give it just a slight tap to make sure those um, Nuvo drops end up perfectly spherical and not lopsided. Slight tap. Okay, and I will add a little tassel to the top of my 
Mimidex card, probably there. Not really sure where it should go. Yeah, I think it can go up here. And I'm going to just try not to smudge the Nouveau drops I've just added. I have a tendency to do that, so I'm going to be very careful now. seem to find my pastel packet of weird memory keepers eyelets so I have to go with not pastel <laughs> um, maybe just one of these hearts will do it's very strange I reorganized my craft space today moved everything from downstairs to upstairs and in doing so realize that I've left my pastel eyelets somewhere dear oh dear so things aren't where they usually are which is why I am having a brain fart and not realizing where I've put it my all-time favorite paper tassels dipped in holograph uh, dipped in holographic paper and that is from all heart So that is the finished Memory Dex card. I hope you guys like it. It is so sweet. It is so cute. It, there's two layers of um, base there and I've added lots and lots of my favorite pastel ephemera to it and I think it turned out super cute. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.